Let's talk about some Suns. Shall we talk some Phoenix Suns, y'all? And Utah Jazz. Suns with a 117-103 win up in Salt Lake. Devin Booker, 24-7. and Bismack Biombo, just fun to say, 17-5. and uh, The Suns with Kevin Durant about to come back. Chandler, what are your expectations? Uh, very high. I think if, if, they, <laughs> if, you know, if he's doing what he did those three games he was playing, I think this is probably the most dangerous team in the Western Conference. And when you add a guy like KD, you obviously need some reps, right? You need some time. You need to know the spacing. You need to, he needs to know the offense, the sets, things like that. But it, you don't need that much time. This guy can adapt in any offense. He can put him on the floor with any four guys in the world, and he's going to do things like that. And and I think honestly, there's 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 no real recipe to guard this team because they have two of the greatest scorers on the wing. They have Chris Paul facilitating everything. They have DeAndre Ayton, who's an actual option, off the block, rolling. Um, and in a storm like this, they they found something with guys like Tory Craig and guys like Okogi. And then those are those role players that are gonna have to come up big in a playoff series that make the game easier, that have to be prepared to make shots because they're gonna get all the looks, right? These guys are in the best situation of all time. I don't know which one of them are free agents this summer, but they have an opportunity to really showcase their game and their value because they are gonna get unlimited looks playing with Kevin Durant, playing with Devin Booker. And this this team is extremely, extremely dangerous once he's back. Um, and hopefully he stays healthy throughout this last couple of weeks and into the playoffs. And I, I look for them to make a really, really deep run. Yeah, Sham. So once he's back, I believe in the jinx. I almost don't even want to ask. I just want him to quietly return. But are we still expecting tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow is still the re uh, targeted return for Kevin Durant. But I think when you look at it, like like Chandler just said, the biggest thing will be how much easier he makes the game on everyone. And when he was on the floor, I saw it. I was at one of the games that him and Devin Booker and this group played together. It's pretty lethal when those two guys are on the floor together. The attention that both of them command individually and how that impacts the other. It makes the game so easy. Uh, and, and really, on guys like DeAndre Ayton, they're shooters. Uh, it just simplifies everything around them. And I, I can't wait to see both of them back in the lineup together and healthy. Yeah, they're... Their schedule going down the stretch is tough. Every team they play is in the playoff or in the playoff race. They play De they play Denver twice. They're gonna play Minnesota tomorrow. They're gonna uh, they play both LA teams. Really, the only easy out they got. Sorry, Michelle, is your San Antonio ah, Spurs. Why do I Phoenix. cry? But <laughs> they're gonna get a real test down the stretch, and it's probably exactly what they want. They need to say some playoff adjacent basketball and really feel that way. And, and, and what I wonder, and what we saw in, in, in the, the game Shams mentioned out in Chicago, a lot of Kevin and, and DeAndre Ayton pick and rolls, a lot of just actions between the two. I wonder when they eventually roll out the actions with Devin and Kevin and, and how the teams go about defending that. I think the obvious answer is, yo, we'll switch, but you're forcing teams to really communicate and really work on the fly because those are two dangerous options right there in the same space on the floor. Uh, they're going to be dangerous. They're going to need to figure out their defense. They're going to need to figure out that fifth starter. Uh, but they they look prime spot to gain some ground in the standings. They, I don't. They obviously can't catch the Kings. They're five games back, six games to go. But a chance to really get a, fo a, a foothold of the four seed and and go from there. And like Chandler said, they're the most dangerous team in the conference. If this is what they bring to the playoffs, this healthy team, all of those options, it's scary. And you do not want to see them in round one or round two. Because once they're rolling, it's over. Devin and Kevin, how am I just now hearing that for the first time? It's like the cutest little Disney <laughs> thing. I, I love that so much. Um, 